Bronx, New York, stand up. Kosha Nostra, here in the studio. Well, let's put this name down some songs. What's up, how you doing, everything, alright? Everything's good, man. Glad yeah. to have you here today. Alright, thank now, you. Now, let's talk about what we're really here today for. Uh, who is Costa Nostra? Costa Nostra is New York City. Costa Nostra is where I ride. Costa Nostra. Costa Nostra exists to everybody. Everybody is Costa Nostra. You know, all about how you play your heart. You know, what, you know. what exactly is Costa Nostra? For example, Costa Nostra is. I'm just starting. You in your prime, don't compare yourself Before you get shot in your head Look in the mirror and scare yourself Let's say you go to a bar And you, you leave your drink on the table, right? You leave your drink on the table You come back from the bathroom You're not gonna drink that same drink You left on the table Somebody could've put something in it So you throw that drink in the garbage Buy you another drink You know, to be safe That's, that's part of kosher notion Kosher notion is You see a homeless person on the street you know, you help them out, give them a few dollars, you know, give them a chance. That's Kosher Nostra. Kosher Nostra is helping people. Kosher Nostra is just being alive, you know, taking care of your environment. Standing together with life with a swagger. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's that's a good way to start. And that's, that's how everybody should think like. But how did I exactly start? How did it start? It started, I was born in 1988, I ain't gonna say my age, I take it from there, I was born in 88, you know, you know it started me growing up through hard times, like seeing, seeing stuff for myself, you know, watching other people go through stuff and not doing the same thing they did, but actually going on a different highway, that's how I did it. Who inspired you to become a good man? My, my inspirations, there's many of them, man. No, my brother, my brother's one of my big inspirations. Shout out to Shaka. You know, he's one of my big inspirations. He's been through a lot, you know, a lot, seen a lot. So, you know, I learned a lot from him a lot. Another big influence to me is my mom. She works very hard, she's been working hard throughout her whole life. 24 hours a day, I work. She just, she just a big part of my project. You know, she inspires me a lot. You know, work, don't play. Don't you know, play, play that straight work. I know you got the voice, you got the attitude, you got the talent. But who supported you to start with everything? Just making music and not being shot. And what you do today is really good. There must be a bright hand on the side towards you. It's me, me. I mean, I got a good team. You know, I got a good team. I got a few videographers. You know, a few people do video editing. You know. Shout out, shout out to my, shout out to my dude Flim Dot too. He's supposed to be here. I don't know where he at right now. He's probably doing some work. But um, you know, it's just my crew, really. My crew that's around me. I try not to stray myself from what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I love production. Production is my thing. So anything that I gotta do with production, I wanna be part of it. Give people my ideas, hear their ideas, and just go with it. But when you say ideas, every listener li listens to the music as well as the lyrics to it. So what kind of message are you trying to deliver to your audience? Um, well, I just want my audience to know, you know, you gotta be safe in this world. I, just, I want them. I want them to know what, what's really going on in this world, and you know how things change throughout time. If things ain't the same. You really gotta work hard now. So I just want the audience to know that don't be influenced by this television and all this media garbage that's on TV. You know, you just gotta take it one day at a time and, and work hard.